Planet of the Fakes and Pig Star HH News. Disclaimer. For awareness and educational purposes only. Young man killed, Jamil Williamson, 21, was shot to death in the 900 block of North Pulaski, West Humboldt Park neighborhood, West Side on August 28, 2020. Another male was wounded. Seen slash heard anything tip at cpdtip.com. Our condolences. Hash Chicago Street Crime. This is long, but as concise as possible, and I had to get it off my chest. I am so concerned about the future of our country that I felt the need to write this post. I know this looks like I'm rambling, but honestly this is as concise as I can make it. I also know I am setting myself up for criticism, but I am being honest in my beliefs and hope you can respect that. I'm sorry if you should find any of this offensive, that is not my intent. I feel this election is too important not to voice my concerns. I want to summarize what I believe people are voting for. I have talked to so many who say they are voting because they don't like Trump's narcissistic personality, tweets, childish digs and truthfully I don't like some of them either, you gotta have tough skin to have his job. He doesn't take crap from anybody, friend or foe alike. You always know what he's thinking. People also say they know nothing about either party's policies. If you are uninformed, I wish you wouldn't vote. It is a wasted vote and could change the result of the election when you have no idea what you are voting for. Here are my thoughts slash facts. The civil unrest in this country right now is not because of Trump. The message of George Floyd's death has now been undermined by sheer anarchy and violence. The Democratic-led cities are burning to the ground and the president does not have the authority to declare martial law, where the military takes over to regain peace. Few countries do that, with the exception of some communist countries. It is up to the state's governments to use their own police to maintain order and to request military assistance, if needed. The liberal-run cities will not do this because they are on the side of the rioters unless the riots get too close to their own homes, like Mayor Lightfoot of Chicago who backed the BLM until they were on her front lawn, then she declared rioting to be unlawful on her block only, so much for the summer of love as the protesters in Portland called it. Instead, these Democratic leaders are caving into the rioters and changing this country based on their demands, as well as defunding the police. Kamala Harris has already said the BLM riots are not going to stop, and they should not, yet she blames Trump as the one inciting violence. People have actually used quick dry cement to seal federal building doors with police trapped inside and tried to burn the building down along with those behind the doors. She wants to abolish the NRA and take away our right to bear arms. Trump has been working with virtually no support from the left which was made very clear from his first day on the job. No Democrats came to Trump's inauguration, and he hadn't even made a single presidential decision. He has been investigated by the Dems for three one-half years. Why in the world should he have a chip on his shoulder? Trump said during his campaign what he was going to do as president, and he followed through. We now have 300 miles of wall on our southern border, which has kept out illegal aliens, drugs, cartels and people who refuse to legally come into the U.S. under Trump, best economy, lowest unemployment in 50 years for all people including blacks, minorities and women, and highest stock market, most women in the workforce ever. Our vets have never had it better, and don't have to wait six months anymore for a doctor visit. He has also rebuilt the military. All the people collecting unemployment received an extra $600 per week thanks to Trump. He knows the COVID-19 is not your fault. That was his decision. The businesses being shut down are a result of democratic policy. Biden is talking about locking down the country again. COVID-19 had been horrible for the whole world. This virus threw the world into uncharted waters. Anyone ever hear of a plan or solution from a Democrat other than Biden saying two weeks ago to wear a mask, or only criticism? Trump has been on TV for months, almost every day giving updates and taking questions and following the medical profession's recommendations. Trump is against abortion and for the right of a child to be born, Biden slash Harris are for abortion and possibly full-term abortion, thousands more babies will continue to be killed if they are elected. Have you heard of George Floyd? Of course you have. Dot. He was killed by a white cop months ago. Have you heard of Darius Coleman, Jamil Williamson, Alexis Rivera, Janari Riggs, Sincere Gaston? Of course you haven't. They were black people shot and killed by black people in the past month in Chicago, along with about 100 others in August. By the way, Sincere Gaston was one year old.
But does anyone hear about these homicides? No one. BLM is a farce. They only care about people who are killed by white cops, which has been few in the past four years compared to the black-on-black -black murder rate. 0.485 deaths this year in Chicago alone, but no one hears a word. There were 54 shootings and 10 deaths this past weekend in Chicago. But the Biden-slash-Harris ticket supports the BLM. By the way, the BLM mission statement says to disrupt the Western nuclear family mom, dad, etc., and have others help raise their families. Isn't this one big reason this country is getting trashed is because fathers are absent to teach their children what is right and what is wrong? But Biden supports it. BLM also states, the police are no good on their website. Instead, in keeping with her usual silence on the matter, Harris ignored the destructive actions by BLM and used flowery language to praise the intensity of the movement characterized by violent protests, simultaneously telling the country to beware. She said it is, not going to stop, and it should not stop. Say what you will, but I am smart enough to know a group with bad intentions, when I see it. And the BLM is not just black, it looks to me, as if almost half are white and have no interest in true democracy, but are also fueled by Antifa and others who only want to endorse anarchy and violence for basically no reason. Just plain old trouble-making punks. Trump has given China the toughest sanctions ever, and is decimating their economy, destroyed ISIS, pulled our troops out of Afghanistan, killed the two most dangerous leaders of ISIS, rebuilt our military and walked out on talks with North Korea because they were not willing to negotiate fairly. Biden wants open borders as well as provide health, insurance for illegal aliens, and defund the police. Oh, I'm sorry, he's now saying he'll reallocate funding. It still cuts the police budget says he'll make college free to all students. We will be bankrupt in two years. It's popular to feel that Biden is a nice guy. He lied on TV about his class ranking, years of military service and number of college degrees. He later apologized saying he was confused. He also, as you know, had his son, Hunter, making up to $50,000 per month by using his political power to get him on the board of Barisma Energy Firm in the Ukraine, a company and industry which he admitted he knew nothing about. Six hours after Biden forced the leader of the Ukraine to fire, the attorney general who was investigating his son, and hire someone new who would drop the investigation, he released one dollar bill into the Ukraine. The phone recordings are there for everyone to hear. It is no secret, the Democrats have not once condemned the violence going on in our democratic cities for the last four months. Governors and mayors have bowed down to the tyranny, just wanting minority votes. Yet Joe Biden reported from his basement, finally, last week that the violence should stop. First time he has addressed it and you would think he was a prophet. Many Dems are touting his too little, too late obvious statement, as if he made some amazing revelation to the world. That happened after realizing that the polls indicated that the rioting and civil unrest had to be addressed. Add to all this corruption the disgraceful mainstream media. I watched NBC News last week at 11 o'clock p.m. The Republican National Convention was just to begin, and the Democratic Convention had just finished. The anchor woman began the news with the statement, and now it's their turn. Their turn, as in, the opposition? As in the Republican enemy? Why would she call it their turn? It makes it obvious where all our network news and fake media stand on their reporting. If you are strictly getting your news feed from the mainstream media, you are being duped, and mail-in voting is one of the biggest farces I've ever heard of. People are waiting on lines all over the country for different venues, yet they can't wait on line for the most important election possibly ever. If that's a problem, spread the election out over three or five days in order to keep social distancing. But the Democrats want the post office, who endorses Biden, to handle all our ballots. This method of mail-in voting was tested a few months ago during the primaries, with horrific results. Just look at what happened in Patterson and other places where they are still fighting over the results and the Democrats want to use this on a presidential election, with everything at stake? Anyone wonder why? Lastly, I don't like to see anyone's cognitive abilities decline, and I am not making fun of Biden. We will probably all end up that way, but please, the few times we've seen him speaking off the cuff or having impromptu conversation, he seems to have a hard time finishing a sentence coherently. No one should be running for president with that mindset. Do you want Pelosi and Schumer running the government, along with Harris, Ock, Adam Schiff and Bernie Sanders making decisions? Why do you think Pelosi is now fighting to eliminate debates between Trump and Biden? Want to guess? Come on man.
We are not voting based on someone's personality. We are